What is up guys, Dr. Pap is back with the palm relacing video. We're also going to be doing the heel, so uh, yeah, that's going to be part of this video as well. Had a couple comments uh, asking about this uh, the other day. Thanks Bruno, appreciate the stuff. Hope uh, I helped answer some of your, your questions. Um, we we'll do some break-in videos on this one pretty soon, but let's get to the relacing. We're going to be starting, whenever you're starting the palm, we're doing the, you know, this whole thing right here that whole line. We come in on the back of the pinky. There's a hole up here that we're gonna go to. So you're gonna go in through that hole and then you're gonna come out through right here. And you're literally just gonna start going down, up, down, up, down, up. And you're gonna have to really make sure that you push your, uh, your pinky out of the way so you can look in and see your holes. They, they're in there and you'll see them whenever you start pulling on your glove and don't be even if it's brand new If you're if you just bought a brand new glove and you're wanting to relace it Yank on that sucker man. It can take it. It needs to be needs to be uh, Needs to be worked in a little bit. Okay, so All right, let's get started here now This is the only thing that is a little different about starting on your palm is that you're gonna pull this almost all the way through and then you have to tie a knot back here give yourself some slack it's cleans you show cleans down here whole time so you're just gonna make a simple little you know loop in the and then bring it around like a little pretzel and tie her up you got your knot pull it through boom all right awesome we begin the process. You have to really be careful not to miss a hole. You just really have to be, you know, aware of what you're doing uh, in the palm because you can really, if you miss a hole, dude, oh gosh, it's the worst. You get down and you think you're done and then you put your hand in the glove and it feels kind of weird and you're like, Ugh, God, what did I do wrong? And ugh, what did I do wrong? I forgot my freaking pliers, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Anyway, have you guys been watching this postseason? Like, this championship series on both the AL and the NL side are ridiculous, dude. I'm a huge Braves fan. Grew up a Braves fan. I will always be a Braves fan. Uh, wow, what a series they're putting on against freaking LA. And what a, I mean, LA is a phenomenal team. Frank! You go outside? Anyway, I don't even remember where I was. I think I was telling you guys not to, not to miss a hole and make sure that you're going in the right ones and you know, you don't skip any. Like if you skip a hole, ugh, it's the worst, man. Ordered the jumbo permalock needles. So I got some of those coming on the way. Also got some um, of the quality glove rub to show you guys. That way, if you don't know what to oil up your gloves with, um, I'm gonna show you. You want the inside of your glove to have the dirty side of the lace. The outside will have the clean. When you get down here, you're gonna come over and then just start going back up. And then you're gonna exit out the thumb, but we'll get to that. Okay, so here's the thing. You're gonna get down to a point where about the third hole down, when you're going up, you're gonna have, it starts like having this double hole thing. Look, and you can see it on here better. Basically, these holes are a lot closer together than the other holes typically are, as you can see. These are the double holes that are close, and like this is like traditional, how, the, how far holes are apart. And it, it switches down here. And so like, even though it looks like regular holes out here you have those tiny double holes up here so just be aware of that and the rationale for the double holes technically you're coming out the same hole you just put that lace in but you're not going over a hole like you're not going over yet so like watch you'll see like the twisting of your laces is a big thing like make sure your laces aren't Twist it up at all. Always make sure that your sides are nice and clean. And now I'm gonna go back down this hole. Look, see this? You're coming back out this hole. 
and your lace comes off your freaking needle. Problem. The little jank knitting needle through the thing set up, yeah, no, it doesn't work. It's not working anymore. So, I have to wait till tomorrow to finish this video now. I have to wait for my uh, permalock needle to come in. So, um, at least we'll get to teach you guys how to properly thread a permalock needle in. So, all right. See you guys in a second. So, it's been about 30 days. Permalock needle came in. So we're gonna uh, continue now on the palm of the glove. How about them braves? <laughs> As you get down here on the glove, you uh, when you go down, you're just going to come across right there, leave it clean, and then come back up here. And then you're gonna go, so you're not gonna follow down the heel, you're gonna start coming back up on the other side of the palm. You want your cleans out, and this is the only time on here, or not the only time, but, and on here also you're gonna have it clean. So, both clean sides showing, and you're gonna head back up the glove. So yes, I'm bummed out about Atlanta, obviously, but I'm actually really, you know, I'm excited about this series. Game one of the World Series went really well. Uh, not for the, I mean, it was a good game. I live around here in the, you know, Orlando-ish area, so kind of rooting for Tampa Bay, but at the same time, like, you know, I kind of want the Dodgers to be the best team in baseball because they beat the Braves. So, I don't know, man. I just don't know. So as you're going up, that's this is where it goes back to what I was talking about earlier, like don't strangle your gloves. Don't tighten it as hard as you can because it'll get really crinkled. So just tighten it, you know, nice and firm, but don't, you know, go too much. And then we're gonna go in this next hole here. We're going in this one. But we're coming out the same hole that that other lace was just in. If you skip, it's gonna get messed up. So, you gotta really pay attention to where you're lacing. Make sure your dirty sides are showing here. So your dirty side on the inside, and then on the outside, we're twisting it so the clean side shows. And you're just gonna literally go all the way up. Make sure you don't miss any holes. And uh, I'm gonna catch you guys back up here because this is where we're gonna end. And it's uh, got a different type of ending so also i just want to point out right now that we are releasing a rawlings pro s 204 if this is a rawlings 204 the whole layout is completely different on every glove the whole layout is different from every brand so and sometimes the same brand can have different whole layouts based on the glove models so if your whole layout looks a little different or if it's not matching up to mine, that may be the case, especially if you have another brand, like a Wilson or a Marucci. Um, but don't worry guys, we're gonna get into releasing some of those gloves from those brands as well. I would love to go over those patterns with you. Wilsons have just some complex weaving patterns when it comes to the web specifically. Um, so you just have to really be careful of where you're, where you're releasing, and which way you're going, and how you're tying things off. Don't want to ruin your, your lace job and then your gloves are going to be uncomfy. As you get up in here in the thumb, it gets tight. You're going to have to start, like I said, being firm with your glove, bending it around. But just, you always want to be conscious. <laughs> conscious. <laughs> you always want to be cautious of what side of the lace the clean and dirty is facing because. All it takes is for one of them to be wrong and the lace to get twisted and you're screwed. Here's the thing. This last hole, you're probably thinking, okay, it's way up there. I don't see another hole in here. How do I tie this off? You're gonna enter in this hole and you're gonna come out here, out of the thumb of the glove. In that hole right here, find it, boom. Now all we gotta do is just Make a little loop, thread it through, pull this bad boy down. Come on, baby. Here we go. Yeah. 
Find the length you want and snip. We have a brand new laced palm of the glove. God, it feels so good when you got brand new laces in your glove. And we're gonna go onto the heel now because it just takes no time at all. Okay, so for the heel, it's really up to you guys. You can choose between doing the thin lace or the thick lace. I, for one, like to do the quarter inch lace. I like. I think it's it feels more firm to me. It makes the glove feel a lot more stiff. Um, which, again, if you're relacing your glove, you're trying to get that shape back into it. So I just think that the thicker the lace on the heel feels good. For the Joker, I go with the red because I think it emulates the smile. With the permalock needle, there's a threading in here in the needle, in the bottom of the needle. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your clippers, you're gonna clip your lace at an angle, and then you're gonna thread it and just twist to the right and just twist, 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 until you can't twist that some no more, bro. Mm -hmm. And that is how you use the threading needle, and it is, oh, it works like a charm. Oh gosh, dude. And you, it has like a flattened head too, so you can grip it with the flat head. I always like to start on the thumb, but I think for now, I think this time we'll start on the pinky. And you're starting on this hole out here. You're gonna go, you're not gonna pull all the way through. You're gonna give yourself a little slack, probably like three or four holes worth of slack. Fold it down, grab your needle, and wrap around and come back through that first hole. So you're gonna double loop it. Hold it, make sure it doesn't go get pulled through. And these you wanna tie tight. Nice, tightly wound heel. Your glove's gonna feel very, very, very stiff. At this point, again, you're gonna hold that, that down and you're gonna wrap around and just go straight down through. The heel's probably the easiest part. The, the thumb and the pinky and the heel are probably the easiest parts. Webs get different, you know, complicated because you have different webs. Look, you gotta go through this hole. Oh, but there's a purple lace there. Too bad. You're in my way, purple lace. Coming through ya. Coming through ya. Make sure you got your sides right. Make sure you got this in there. So yeah guys, you're just repeating this process. Make sure it's tight, and then just keep on going. So once you get past this last hole, you're gonna get to where you're just doing these holes here. Don't try to rush getting on to this next hole uh, for the, the thumb. Uh, just take your time, make sure you're going down and up the exact hole you're supposed to. Because again, like I said, if you skip one hole, it's over with, man. You're gonna have to start unlacing and you're gonna get discouraged and aggravated man i wasted all my time man oh i, I, I should have just stopped relacing it man can't be like that can't be that guy can't be that guy by the way steroid safe baseball shirt brought to you by watch momentum check out trevor bauer and watch momentum and all the awesome content they push out if you're not not familiar with it all right, so you reach the last hole of the thumb right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and go down once. And then to finish this off, you're gonna go through one more time. After you go through the last hole the second time, you're going to thread your needle like into the side like inside of the uh the laces here and you're gonna go down like thread it through these three and then you're gonna pull it through like i have <clears throat> and then you're gonna clip here heel palm we've got the pinky we got the thumb we got the different multicolored joker scheme going again he's, he's feeling great like i mean it, it's so ridiculous how how much stiffer the glove feels just just after that um to be honest if you want we can do this next next we'll do this and uh the web yeah we'll do the, the web and the this bad boy and then we'll cap it off with the fingers and she'll be done 
So, uh, yeah, all right, so far, guys, here's the Joker. We're gonna be throwing on the uh, green and purple next. So be uh, staying tuned for that, guys. Get your jumbo permalock needles. If you like the steroids say baseball shirt, go check out Trevor Bauer and uh, his page on YouTube. It's such awesome content coming out of there. I love, I love all that stuff. Love tuning in. Be looking out for the next memorabilia Monday. We've got some different pictures. I don't know if you guys can tell, but uh, we'll be highlighting these uh, these new items on Monday. We'll be doing the five card shuffle next Monday as well. Be looking out for that. And then, um, yeah, here probably within the next week, you're going to be getting the, the web video. All right, everybody, that is it for today's video. I am Dr. Pap. As always, I'm going to need you to go out there and get a throwing partner. Grab your ball, grab your glove, and keep on papping, baby. Let's go. Woo! It's a good one. First try.